The final frontier. For years, shows like Star Trek have challenged us to imagine life in space, but this branch is taking the fiction out of science fiction. So many people think we don't exist. In fact, when I wear my uniform and ride the train to work at the Pentagon, I have people staring at me and basically asking, are you real? Mendota Heights native Colonel Bree Fram, an astronautical engineer, is an officer in the United States Space Force. She joined the U.S. Air Force right after 9-11, serving 18 years before joining the Space Force. She is a chief of the Acquisitions Policies and Processes Division. What's that mean? <laughs> I figure out how we buy things, so how we develop, design, and acquire spacecraft and the systems that we need to run them. She says while Space Force is new, its mission is not. It has a huge legacy and heritage from what the Air Force and other services have been doing in space back to the 1950s. So we are not talking about aliens. The Space Force designs and operates a whole suite of capabilities in space that basically enable our modern way of life. Fram says things we use every day come courtesy of the Space Force. We design, build, and operate GPS. So if you are navigating somewhere in your car and your phone is giving you directions, you're talking to the Space Force. If you're using your credit card, which is underpinned by the timing system that GPS uses, that's the Space Force. Colonel Fram believes the Space Force mission is an important one. So that we understand what is going on in space, uh, that we can protect our interests there, and then also so that we can bring those capabilities that we can deliver from space to our joint warfighting team. Reg Chapman, WCCO